David Long last updated 1609051120017. Getty Images Cameron Waters and Richie Stanaway jointly won this year's Sandown 500. Motorsport New Zealand will have a fourth full-time supercars driver next year, with Richie Stanaway joining Shane Van Gisbergen, Scott McLaughlin and Fabian Coulthard. Stanaway is choosing his words carefully, but confirmed on Sunday he'll be a full-time driver in the category from 2018. The 25-year-old Stanaway was a sensation as Cameron Waters co-driver in the three endurance rounds this season, with the race win at Sandown being the highlight. It's not a question of it, it's one of when we can make an announcement, Stanaway said before Sunday's supercars race at Pukekohe got underway. Read more Waters relish time with Stanaway just being admired is not enough for Richie Stanaway obviously I can't say anything now, but I can definitely start thinking about clips all the first round of the season in Adelaide and I'm really looking forward to it. Hopefully we'll have some news soon. Tellingly, Stanaway spoke from just outside the ProDrive Racing Australia PRA garage and his future looks to be with the big budget team. When Stanaway drove as Chris Pither's co-driver for Super Black Racing last year he openly expressed a desire to get a full-time seat in supercars. It's taken a while for that goal to be reached, but his perseverance has not only paid off, but he should be in a car capable of winning races and challenging for the championship. It's been a year and a half of chipping away at this to get it over the line and we're pretty close to doing that, he said. It's been a childhood dream of mine to race a supercar. It was cool to be a co-driver, but naturally I want to race the main game as a full-time driver. Stanaway has spent most of the last seven years based in Europe, competing in GP2, GP3 and World Endurance Championships among other categories. He had become an established and well-respected driver in Europe, but decided to walk away from all of that and try his luck at supercars. It was a bit of a risk to give all of that away for only the possibility of running here full-time, he said. It would have been a bit awkward if I was only in as a co-driver over the long run. I guess this has justified the decision I made to come here, this year, having not raced in Europe after Le Mans, it meant I didn't have anything on my mind, other than being focused on supercars and I've been living in Auckland which has been easy for me to commute back and forth to Australia, rather than having to do any long-haul flights. His goal in Europe was to work his way up to Formula One, but unlike fellow Kiwi Brendan Hartley he has gone in a different direction. It wasnt like I was racing at the level Brendan was, with him in LMP1, it made it a lot easier for him to transition into F1, Stanaway said. Add feedback I was hopeful of getting to LMP1 for a couple of years, but it never happened. If I'd have got to that level 1 probably would have still been in Europe and having that on my mind. But I wasnt going to wait around there any longer. I'd done everything I could and I wasnt going to wait another year, so that's why I came down here and I've got no regrets at all. The big unanswered question though is who Stanaway will drive for next year and it's a complicated situation and one that the 44-year-old Jason Bright has a big say in. Bright has a contract with PRA for next year to be a part of their stable. He owns the racing entitlement contract rec, which is the license to race in the category and a lot depends if he wants to continue to race next year, or lease out or sell his rec. If he doesn't race, it's possible Stanaway could take his seat, but that's a big if and it's understood Bright still enjoys racing. The PRA have entered into a deal where they would buy one of the two recs owned by Lucas Dumbrell Motorsport and the agreement would be that they'd supply the team with a Ford Falcon for LDM's remaining rec. If Bright stays, PRA can't use the acquired wreck for Stanaway, because that would mean they have five cars under their umbrella with Mark Winterbottom, Chaz Mostert and Cameron Waters all staying. Supercars rules state a team can have a maximum of four cars in it. So PRA need to make Bright a tempting enough offer for him to leave, or Stanaway drives a PRA supplied Ford as part of LDM. Either way, there will be another Kiwis to cheer on in supercars next year. Stuff.